So I'm in the sanctuary, in the homework room. There are about five or six other people in here with me. The air conditioner is blowing cool air on my back. And that fear, the same fear I felt as a child, it is coming up full throttle. And my hands are wrapped around a little girl's legs, holding them tightly, close to her ankles. And, and, and I remember thinking that her, her legs were just like my daughter's, skinny like mine. So the little girl is seven or eight years old. She's sitting with her butt on the floor, legs out to me, and Alonzo is behind her. Now Alonzo is a big kid at five, seven, 14 years old and stocky, and it's taking all of his strength to keep her on the ground. Next to them is Vicki Watkins, the executive director of the sanctuary, and she's got her hand on the little girl's back, rubbing it, whispering in her ear, trying to calm her down. But Angela will have none of it. She moves and squirms and tries to break free and looks at me with all the anger and hatred I have ever seen in the world and says, fuck you, fuck you, you fucking drug dealer. She called me a drug dealer. And at seven years old, I, I didn't know what a drug dealer was, but that was a different time and different place where things make more sense than they do now. But she's screaming, fuck you, nigga, let me go. I, I hate you, I hate you. I hate myself, I hate myself. No, baby, don't say that. I don't. Why? Cause I'm ugly. No, no, you're, you're not ugly. You are beautiful. You are a child of God. And everything he makes is beautiful. She stopped and stared at me and spit in my face. Oh, God, she spit in my face, and, and, and I want to wipe it away. But if I move, she'll kick me. Everybody in the room stops breathing. Everyone, including Angela, waits to see what I'll do. Vicky changes positions and begins rubbing my back. <laughs> Translating this girl's pain into something my anger can understand, and I want to get up and walk away, but I have to win. You see, I learned that quick here at the sanctuary. Every day, I have to win. Winning doesn't mean imposing your will on a child. Winning means finding a solution where you don't lose. Because in a house full of victims, they can smell it in the air. And the weak get no respect. So I took a deep breath and said, it's OK. Jesus loves you, and I do too. And she stopped and stared at me and spit in my face again. Oh. God, she, she spit in my face again, and I've never seen anger like this before. It's bursting at the seams. Her body shakes all the way down to her ankles, or maybe I'm shaking her from the ankles up. I don't know, but she leans in, sneering at me, daring me to say it, but I have to win. Jesus loves you and I do too. Again, at the third glob of spit, I can feel my will beginning to drain. I want to get up and walk away and let Vicky handle it, but then I, I look at her, and I see it. I've never seen it before. But people have been walking away from her her entire life. But I didn't know where to look. Couldn't get past the tough girl facade. All I've seen is a black girl in a bad neighborhood attitude that I have come to fix. Me, the dreadlock savior of 8th Street, come to save the poor Negro souls lost in the wilderness of Springfield. But my head is too tender for the thorny crown. Palms too weak for the sharpened spikes. Soul too dirty to wash away anyone's sins. There's no fixing this, no making it right. There's only now and all I can do is love. A frail word love that doesn't erect barriers to stop body fluids from her lips. A frail word love that means walls are broken down and forgiveness comes easy. A frail word love that until this moment I had not been tested and she spits at me again. Jesus, when will this end? And, and she's screaming and I'm screaming, Jesus loves you and I do too because I can't think of anything else to say and the room feels like it's about to explode and then she says it. I want to die. I want to die like my cousin. And it breaks. Her body goes soft. And she shakes and moans and weeps. And I let go of her legs and come in and grab her and just hold her close to me. Hold her just like I do my daughter when she needs a hug.
After a while, she tells me she wants Miss Vicky to hold her. And so I let her go. Walk back into the other room where the older boys are watching TV. Because I have to win. And leaving now would be a loss. It's 3.30. Camp doesn't end until 4th.